Hello friends, I am Sharyu Pujari and I am an educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy Learning app where you will find my other courses as well. So this lesson is on some MCQs related to characteristics of sewage which are asked for one mark in GATE exam which are very important as well. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Also do share this video and subscribe us on YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to an academy and ninth lesson on MCQs part 1 by Sharyu Pujari. So about me, I have completed my M.Tech in Environmental Science and Technology. I have completed my B.E. in Civil Engineering. I have two years of experience in teaching and you can follow me on this link. So if you follow me, you will get notified every time I publish a new lesson or new course on this platform. So this is my profile here on an Academy Learning app where you will find my other courses as well. So please do rate, review and recommend my lessons and courses. Do share this video and subscribe us on YouTube channel. So friends, let's start with this. These are some one mark MCQs asked in gate exam. Also, we'll see some MCQs which were asked in previous question papers, right? So uh, the first question is the ultimate BOD value of a waste. Option A is increases with temperature. Option B is decreases with temperature. Option C is remains the same at all temperatures and option D is double with every 10 degree Celsius rise in temperature. This question was asked in IES 2000. So in this year round one I have given the page numbers or slide numbers. Uh, so it will be handy for you. So uh, the correct option for this question is option C that the ultimate BOD value of a waste remains the same at all the temperatures. It does not change with the temperature. So always remember that ultimate BOD that is our L0 remains the same at all the temperatures. It does not change. So the next question is a sample of domestic sewage is digested with silver, silver sulfate, sulfuric acid, potassium dichromate and mercuric sulfate in chemical oxygen demand that is COD test. The digested sample is then titrated with standard ferrous ammonium sulfate that is FAS to determine the unreacted amount of option A is mercuric sulfate, option B is potassium dichromate, option C is sulfur, silver sulfate and option D is sulfuric acid. This question was asked in gate 2012. So friends for this uh, you if you have a knowledge of a COD in means its definition like COD is a chemical oxygen demand and it is chemical oxidation with potassium permanganate or potassium dichromate in an acid solution. If you know this much then you can easily answer this question from this question we get our correct option as option B that is potassium dichromate and this question is important this type of questions can be asked so you should know the uh, test procedures for COD, BOD, DOA etc. So and the next question is in which of the following tests is the organic matter in the waste water used as food by microorganisms. So organic matter in waste water is used as food by microorganism is in BOD only. MPN is the most probable number that we have seen in water supply engineering. COD also uh, it is not used. So in BO, B, chlorine demand is a different part. So a is the BOD, A is the option A is the correct option for this question. So in BOD test, the organic matter in the wastewater is used as food by the microorganisms. Next question is, which are of the following test employs ferrin, ferrin indicator? Option A is chemical oxygen demand, option B is ammonia nitrogen, C is nitrate nitrogen and D is fluoride. So this question was asked in IES 2011. So friends, ferrine indicator is used in chemical oxygen demand. That is option A is the correct option for this question. So you should know all the test procedures. I, as I said, which uh, this type of questions can be asked in competitive exams. So the next question is 
the minimum do prescribed for a river stream to avoid fish kill is so minimum uh, dissolved oxygen that should be present in a river stream is 4 ppm so below 4 ppm uh, if do is there then it will cause danger to the aquatic life and the fish will get killed so the minimum do prescribed for a river stream to avoid fish kill is 4 ppm so it should not be below 4 ppm right so this is the limit for that so option b is the correct option for this question next option is the figure below shows bod curve when the experiment was conducted at 20 degree celsius if the experiment is conducted at 30 degree celsius then the portion a b of the curve uh, option a is shifts to the left option b is shifts to the right option c is remains unchanged and option d is shrinks this question was asked in ies 2010 so uh, this uh, graph is given a and b here on y axis it is oxygen demand and on x axis it is time so they are asking that this a and b shows the bod curve when the experiment was conducted at so a and b uh, is the result at 20 degree celsius if they are asking it was conducted at 30 degree celsius then what will happen if the shift if the curve will shift to right or it will shift to left uh, sorry right or to left or remains un unchanged or does it shrinks so i will explain it with with the diagram so this is o2 demand and this is time right so this is our ab so the temperature is if the temperature increases the decomposition also increase and the o2 demand will also increase so the temperature to it, the here it is 20 degree celsius if it is greater than 20 degree celsius the uh, graph will shift to left and if it is below 20 degree celsius the graph will shift to right so the correct and this is the ultimate bod right so uh, with this graph and this uh, the correct option here is shifts to the left so next question is between bod and cod the greater of the two is option a is bod option sorry option a is bod option b is cod option c is both are equal and option d is depends on the cvh characteristics for this purpose you must know first relation between the bod and cod right so uh, so cod represents both cod represents both biological active and inactive organic matter whereas bod gives only biological active organic matter only therefore cod is greater than bod right so between bod and cod the greater of the two is cod as per i said that uh, cod represents both biological uh, active and inactive and whereas bod gives biological active organic matter only therefore B cod is greater than bod right so option b is the correct option for this question so in this way we have seen some mcqs which are related to characteristics of cvh or on bod next we will see some lessons on cod th uh, tod thod right and then on population uh, equivalent and relative stability right so friends thank you for watching uh, do rate review and recommend my lessons and do share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel thank you